today's top story. A new round of powerful storms is in the works after those rare dual tornadoes slammed into the small town of Pilger, Nebraska. NBC's John Yang is there this morning. John, good morning. How does it look? Good morning, Savannah. Well, this is what most of this little town looks like this morning. Took a direct hit from one of the two tornadoes that raked across northeastern Nebraska. And officials estimate that as many as three quarters of all the structures in this town flattened, splintered like this. There have been 16 people critically injured, at least one person killed, a five-year-old child. Rare twin twisters caught on camera, carving up farmland outside Pilger, Nebraska. Oh, dear God. Storm chasers captured the moment when a tornado hit the town. It's ripping up a whole town. In that moment, this town, a self-described rural community of 378 people, became a disaster area. Huge. There was two of them, one back over here and one coming right at us. The tornado went right down Main Street, tossing telephone poles and demolishing buildings. The northeast part of town are all severely damaged beyond, beyond repair. A striking example, before and after photos of the town's middle school, the windows blown out by the twister, part of the second floor ripped away. One woman hid in the basement of her farmhouse with three family members. They survived but don't know if the home can be salvaged. You're just kind of in a state of shock because it's, you can't believe that it can be gone so fast. Some storm chasers got dangerously close. That's crazy. As a tornado crossed the road right in front of them, revealing oh. another twister. There's the other tornado. Emergency response crews will be on the scene here in Pilger today, and so will the National Guard, helping these people stunned by sudden loss. Residents will be coming back here. The town's been sealed off overnight. They'll be coming back to see what's left of their town and try to live up to their slogan, the little town too tough to die. Let's get to our top story on a Wednesday morning. Those dangerous tornadoes in Nebraska. Dozens reported overnight, but thankfully the damage was nothing like what we saw from those twin tornadoes on Monday. NBC's John Yang has the latest on all this. John, good morning to you. Good morning, Matt. That's right. Another morning, another community in Nebraska picking up the pieces after multiple tornadoes. And this morning, we're learning more details about the victims of the tw deadly twin tornadoes. Oh, my goodness. Overnight, a new outbreak of tornadoes ripped through Nebraska, hitting hard at farmland communities in the northeast part of the state. The National Weather Service tracked two large tornadoes near the towns of Coleridge and Laurel, Nebraska. These latest twisters striking just 30 miles from the EF4 tornado that devastated the tiny village of Pilger on Monday. I just came back through the town, and my estimation is 75, maybe even 80 percent total destruction of this village. Five-year-old Callista Callie Dixon was killed when the rare twin twisters touched down. She was with her mother, Candy Murphy, and four-year-old sister Robin inside a mobile home. Murphy was critically injured. Robin escaped with only a few scrapes. The family reportedly moved to this small rural community from Alabama just four months ago. Callie's grandmother released a statement saying, Callie's dream was to be a doctor and help people when she grew up. Maybe God has a job for her now. A 74-year-old man was also killed when winds of up to 200 miles an hour hit. Those who survived say they feel very fortunate. That's where they told us to go with the cooler. It probably actually saved our life, yes. Leroy Colmus and a dozen other people took shelter inside this milk cooler when the tornado struck. When we opened the cooler door, the roof was gone. Most of the town is now gone, but residents here say they're determined to begin the very long road to recovery. And back in Pilger this morning, heavy equipment is being brought in by the National Guard and other officials as the cleanup begins. It's another round of dangerous tornadoes. More severe weather on the way out? That's right. In fact, about 25 million people are going to be affected by today's severe weather threat. But last night, uh, the town of South Wessington in, oh in South Dakota, Wessington Springs, 
was affected, massive damage. You look at all of this, it's a miracle that nobody was injured and there were no deaths, but they were really hit very hard. Town of Alpena, not too far from there, hit as well. And again, we've got another round of storms already going this morning. As we show you, we've got heavy showers and thunderstorms to the north of New York. Heavy activity also around Chicago. Minneapolis looking at heavy thunderstorms going on there as well. You can see the heavy rain that's falling. Here's what's happening. All along this frontal system, we're looking for showers and thunderstorms, heavier thunderstorms, again, rolling through Minneapolis into this evening, Friday into early Friday morning. And so we have two areas of severe weather we're watching. Uh, one back through the plains, another, believe it or not, along the mid-Atlantic states. So today, Washington, Salisbury, Richmond, Roanoke, Norfolk, damaging winds, isolated tornadoes can't be ruled out. The bigger area, again, from the plains, Fargo, Minneapolis, into Omaha, Wichita, and on south into Oklahoma again. Rainfall amounts. Some areas in this central area from Iowa into Minnesota could pick up another two to three inches of rain. So flash flooding is also going to be an issue as well. But after today, things calm down. The atmosphere actually starts to get a little calmer.